In this presentation, we are going to how to look at writing functions. Now, we have three tasks ahead of us, the first of which is as follows. Let's go to the next slide there. The uh, oops, next go to this next slide. So write a simple function that adds two numbers. Now this is very straightforward and it's straight out of the documentation and uh, it serves a simple example, but it gives a sort of uh, a demonstration of uh, the syntax. Also, what we're going to do is write a function that generates n, where n is an integer, n random integers between 0 and 100, and then write a function that generates n random integers between a and b, where a and b are integers, with a less than b. So, first off, let's go to the basic syntax of a function. Now, this is actually straight out of the... Um, this is straight out of the... Uh, documentation for um, Julia. So it's, this stuff is actually really best done with an IDE such as Julia Studio, but I'm going to do it on the sort of command line interface because it's simple enough really. So first off, function, uh, we have two inputs, x and y, we're adding two numbers, as simple as that. So first off, I'm going to call it a uh, function first off to use the name function then I'm going to call this function f just for this a very simple function name I'm just going to call it f and we have two inputs x and y there so that's the first line function name of the function and the name of the inputs now I'm going to hit return now we're not going to get a new DOS prompt or a new prompt uh, what I'm going to do is first off indent it and here I'm going to write in the body of the function. Here it's just we're adding two numbers x plus y. Simple as that. I'm going to hit return again now and we're back down there again and I'm just going to type in end. So that's the end of the function. So that's our function written. So that is confirmed there. f is a generic function with one method. Grand. Let's try it out. 5 and 7 let's say. There we go. The answer there is 12. Function, uh, 7 and 8, 9. Uh, there we have it, 16. You could actually also um, have a function that has two outputs. We can, not, this is not actually not what I intended. For example, x divided by y. Okay. So let's give that a go. And f so we ha we're going to have two inputs and we're also going to have two outputs. Um, 5 and 9. So there we have there, 14 is the first one, that's 5 plus 9. And then 5 divided by 9, we have 0 0.555. Okay, that's so far so good. Now, that's functions, that's how you write a basic function. Now, let's go back to what we have planned here. So, sorry, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to learn how to write a function that generates n random integers between 0 and 100. Okay, so first off we just need to sort of uh, familiarize ourselves with two uh, functions here, rand and floor. So I'm going to use this implementation, in, implementation I have in front of us but some of you who are familiar with the floor function might spot the mistake. Now just for the sake of clarity uh, it is one and 100 inclusive okay now some of you might sort of spot the little problem there that that we'll have to overcome now in a second so what, let's just try that out so first off n is equal to 10 let's say okay now let's consider the rand function rand n so we're going to generate the, uh, we're going to use the uniform distribution, the simple random function. There's another one there called the rand n, which uses the uh, uniform, uh, the normal distribution. So so far so good. Ten element array, but the values there are between zero and one. The the uniform distribution between zero and one, the default uniform distribution. What we can do there is let's multiply those by one hundred. Rand n or what? Well, uh, Reperform the analysis. There we go. 69, 32, 35, 10 uh, with decimal places. So this is where we can use the floor function. We can turn them into integers essentially. So let's call that 
uh, let's use the floor function there now. So there we have it, 98, 60, 98, or 76, and so on. Okay. Now those are um, actually float values. Let's actually, first off, um, save that as X. Tell element array of floats. Now we're going to sort of, just for the sake of time, we're not going to worry about the fact that they're actually floats. They're saved as floats. We're just going to treat them as integers. Now there's one issue there, and it's to do with the floor function. If I have a value, the maximum value that this here can take, 100 times rand 1, let's say, the maximum value this can take is 99. But we're allowing the, um, we're, we're actually allowing 100 to be selected. So we have to change this to 101. Not so rather than 100. It's the way the um, floor, it's a sort of to do with the mathematics of the floor function rather than the implementation in Julia. So let's go back to our um, command there. That's not it. Hang on a sec. Our, 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 this is the setup. So we're going to, to uh, integers between 1 and 100 inclusive, which I should have said, we're going to have to change this to 101. To allow for the fact that 100 can be um, included. So let's set up a function again here in Julia. So function, I'm going to call this uh, rand uh, 100 uh, rand uh, cent century for 100, and that has w one input n. Okay. The there we go, and let's write the main body of the function that is the floor of 101 star rand n, and let's end the function there. There we go. Now, rand cent, it's not a great function name, but it'll do for the time being. There we go. 85, 73, 53, and 62. And again, they're they're actually properly they're floats, but uh, we can treat them as integer values. Okay, so far so good. Now, lastly, what I'm going to do here is just uh, show how we can uh, construct the last problem. So the last problem is as follows. Let's go back here to slide two. Write an integer, or write a function that generates n random integers between a and b, where a and b are the integers and a is less than b. Now this again here is uh, follows off of the mathematics of um, uh, the floor function and also generating uh, random numbers. Uh, so the minimum value is a and the maximum value is b. So first off, we're going to add a random number between A and B to um, A, essentially. That's how we're going to work, uh, generate this. Now, to generate a number between A and B, we must actually have it the proper scaling. In the last case, we scaled it by 101. The, we scaled a random value between 0 and 1. We multiplied it by an integer to give it the proper scale. In the last case, is between 1 and 100. This case is going to be b plus 1 minus a, and then we're going to get the floor function of that. So let's copy and paste that out. I just realized how long this is going on. So let's scroll down here. Uh, we're going to call this function rand ab. Now, just again, that's not a great name. And we're going to have three inputs this time n, which is the number of uh, values. Now we're going to give this a default uh, of 10. A, which we're going to default it as 1, and B as 100. Okay, and we're going to just pop, pop, uh, use that command I've used previous. Oops, made a mess there. So, actually, I'll just uh, uh, press the button I shouldn't have. 
A and B equals 100. A is 1. So A plus the floor of B plus 1 minus A. Let's put that in brackets. There we go. So Rand AB. Oops, AB. Let's just pick up five values to make sure it works with the default uh, for settings of 1 and 100. Perfect. 10 and 50. Perfect. All right, that's a long presentation. I'm going to end it there.